Okay, so it's literally 2023, which like, I don't know how, but like, cheers to healthy habits. Just kidding, I am still burning my hair. Okay, wait, hey guys, let me do like a formal greeting now, because I don't know what the intro was. I also need to unplug the straightener before I burn down my house, because, you know, I've already burned my hair, but it's like, like, it'd be such a lose-lose, like, if I burned my house down too. Anyways. Happy 2023. That's actually disgusting that 2022 is already gone. 2023, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't have a ring to it. Therefore, this year might suck. Um, anyways, we have a lot to discuss. We're in a post-vlogmas world. Also, like, before we just talk about anything, I need to show you, like, the setup that I have right now. I'm not gonna touch the camera because you are sitting in the toilet right now. I hope that's okay. Um, but let me just show you, like, my setup. I'm taking a picture on my phone because I have three blankets hanging on my shower. And then, like, like I want good audio, okay? My bathroom's super echoey. But anyways, fun fact, I actually kind of, like, hate New Year's. I think it's just, like, such an over-the-top holiday. And there's, like, a lot of pressure around it. So today I'm gonna do, like, a really over-the-top self-care kind of moment. So a few months ago, I was gonna do this huge, like, self-care video. And then right as I started filming it, I fell down the stairs with my phone and camera. And I shattered my camera lens. Um, which like we fixed that so like that's the old news But I'm also filming on a new ring light today because like a month ago. I broke my ring light I just like knocked it over and it just like split in half So I bought a new ring light. I at this point I've literally had to replace my microphone my camera lens my ring light like what is next? <laughs> Give me a break please at least I had like an Amazon gift card, so I just like used it with that because like I already spend too much money and I need to get my card privileges taken away from me because at this point I'm not gonna have any money for college if I'm just like buying a vinyl off of eBay that was discontinued in 2018. Anyways, I actually do not regret my purchase. Anyways, let me show you all of the stuff that I bought a few months ago to do this like huge self-care thing because like I said, I fell down the stairs, whatever. Well, and I like broke my camera, so that video was just like obviously not used because I had like an intro and that was it. But I was like, New Year's is the perfect time to do this video because like... Fresh start. So let me just get everything that was bought for that video because like these two first things actually were in my stocking. They're two face masks from Sephora. One of them is a matcha one which like I also have these two lavender mud masks from Target and I've done these before and like the relaxing on the little thing is not lying. I mean, I've never done one of these under eye masks before but I was really intrigued so I bought them. And then last is a hair mask for dry and damaged hair. It's really confusing because I'm showing some sort of effort to fix my dry and damaged hair problem because I bought this, but then I continue to use this, so I don't know. Also, I got a new skincare headband thing, which if you saw my old one, <laughs> there was like makeup stains all over it, and like I could have just put it in the washer, but I was too lazy to do that, and so it just like got really dirty. But I have a new one now, and now I... <laughs> Why do I look like that? I look like I'm on like Survivor or something, like the show. What if I do it this way? Because that was traumatizing and made my forehead look like extra huge. Is that better? Is that... Maybe we'll just deal with it. So all face masks want you to like cleanse slash clean your face first. So I think I'm just gonna start off with this. As much as I love it, I do not think I'm gonna buy again because I did find out that CeraVe tests on animals and I'm like... Why am I just finding this out? But we still have this bottle, so we're gonna use it because like you don't want to go to waste. Like I actually think it's so messed up that to be ethical, I'm gonna talk about like the new year stuff in a second, but I do wanna just go on this rant real quick. To be good for the world, it's expensive. Like if you wanna buy reef safe sunscreen, it's like $30. What's another example? If you wanna like eat super healthy or like eat whole foods or like even vegan foods, it's expensive. Like, why are we set up for failure? Okay, let me just wash this off and then we'll actually talk about something relevant to New Year's. So I just realized that I've been talking for almost eight minutes and I haven't explained like the point of this video. So I want to do just a big self-care. Well, I kind of explained that, but also we just got back from a trip and like kind of getting back into reality and getting back into your routine after traveling is such like a difficult thing, I feel like. So I need to clean my room and also like wash my clothes and unpack because... Okay, so the pineapple one is eliminated. So which one do we want to do? This is how we're gonna settle it because this is how I do everything in my whole life. I'm so indecisive. I use this like spinner website. So okay, matcha or mud mask. And I'm gonna put it in the spinner and then spin it to see like what I'm doing with my life. But sometimes you don't even have to go with like what the spinner lands on. You can also just use it as a thing to see like what you really want. Because if it lands on one thing and you're like, dang it, then you can be like, okay, that, you know, now I know which one I actually want. I may or may not have used the spinner to decide if I was gonna Switch to public school for 8th grade. That's like so bad. Maybe I should do it for college too. <laughs> okay, let's just spin it. The matcha one. I think that was a good choice. Thank you, spinner. So I'm gonna open this up. This one also takes five minutes. I think the other one is like a lot longer, which is good because I'm gonna like sort of have to be somewhere. Oh, this one's an actual sheet mask. Great. Oh, it smells so good. I've been having so many matcha things recently. For example, I had matcha gelato and like so good. And then I also had a matcha acai bowl. 
also amazing. Okay, let me put this on my face and then let's get talking. So first and foremost, let me mention just how disappointed I am that Christmas is over. Not like actual Christmas day. Like I do love Christmas day, of course, but the Christmas season itself, like I'm just like talking and I look like this. Like I miss the Christmas season so much. I think as a kid, I would just count down to Christmas because that was like the peak. But for me, it's like the actual season and the music, and, like the movies. That was the only thing like getting me through because I was so burnt out with school, but it was like I could listen to Christmas music and I could watch Christmas movies and Vlogmas. And let's just talk about Vlogmas. It's been nice to not have to edit a video every day, of course, but Vlogmas. <laughs> I literally was about to cry when it was over because actually it did shed a few tears on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas, I was getting so emotional because I was like, look, <laughs> like poor little Vlogmas, like she's over. But I can do it again next year. And there were a few comments that were like, do it again next year, which of course I really want to. But then I thought like, that's 25 new video ideas. We have a whole year to come up with those. One thing that I'm trying to learn is to like appreciate something while still acknowledging the ups and downs. Like I can appreciate Vlogmas and I can be like, wow, it was such a great time. But like, were there some nights where I was like kind of panicking and I was like editing and stressed? Yes. Why am I literally having a breakdown over a Christmas tree? So it's like, I can still be like, oh, okay, love Vlogmas while not having to like not acknowledge that. Like I don't have to fully romanticize it, but I also don't have to fully be like, I'm not doing this again because it made me stress. Because when you look at the pros and cons, the pros outweigh the cons. Obviously I love Vlogmas so much. Anyways, let's talk about my New Year's. It's also January 2nd when I'm filming this. So for New Year's, I did attend a little function and we were watching just a little bit, like right before midnight, we were watching, I can't remember what it's called, but the Times Square like ball drop, that show or whatever. And I was like I was looking around at everybody in the crowd like everybody in the crowd at Times Square and everybody was wearing like a sponsor Planet Fitness hats and it's just like something about it is so like tacky like at this point why are we still having like a gym membership places be like it's the new year get fit like you can work on your health and take care of your body any day of the year but when we do it as this big like holiday change I think it supports bad like extreme lifestyle changes for example majorly changing your diet or like overly working out like I think moderation is the key to life and when we have these huge holidays that put pressure on people to change dramatically it's stupid because like obviously I think it's great to work on yourself and it's great that the new year can feel like a fresh start to so many people but I also don't want the new year to feel like a change to so many people like yes it is a new year but it's like you should work on things that'll make you just a better person overall and not things that society like wants us to be I think it's better to be like oh I want to be kinder this year or something rather than to be like I want to lose this much blah, blah. like I don't even want to get into any of that because like I know it is a sensitive topic for a lot of people but I'm also going biking in like two seconds and like my sister's calling me down and like has it been five minutes oh no need to rinse after that's great because why am i always on a time crunch actually maybe i'll like get socks and change into like shorts that match and then i'll take this off and then after i'm gonna continue the self-care thing because it's a process so funny story it's like maybe 15 minutes later and we just like didn't go on a bike ride because moral of the story the bikes are bigger than we thought and the car was smaller than we thought we were gonna try to fit two but like not even one fit in there so we're just like not doing that um but yeah this you do in the shower so we'll do the hair masks tonight and then I want to do the under eye stuff right now because I've always wanted to try these and then also not in this video but at some point in my life I want to try a lip mask because I don't know what it does but I'm intrigued like it just sounds fun but on to this which is you're so golden babe anyways I have school tomorrow and I have school off today <laughs> I'm still so jet lagged. I'm still mentally five hours behind. Not five hours. I'm like half of the way jet lagged. So I'm like three or like two hours behind. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sleep deprived. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sad Vlogmas is over. That's random. But now I'm like, what is my content direction going to be for 2023? I'm just going to film whatever I want. Like I have sit down videos planned kind of but then I also have vlogs but I can just do whatever I want it's my channel I'm just kidding obviously I'm gonna make like something enjoyable because of course but I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself to like be like niche like at this point I've just accepted that like my niche is lifestyle and choosing a niche can go south really quickly especially for somebody like me or like I don't know why specifically me but I just feel like it's just not good for me <laughs> anyways let's just put these wait let me read the instructions that was like character development I was like let me read the instructions like am I changing is new year new me why am I so annoying maybe that's the new me just kidding it's not like anything different from last year where are the instructions maybe it's just self-explanatory instructions for use it was right there thoroughly washing your face we did that for 20 to 30 minutes okay that's kind of a lot of time but do i have anything to do now they're like little like apostrophes they're like commas that's so cute anyways what is my editing gonna be for this year am i doing zoom ins am i like what am i doing i'm filming this video and i don't know what i'm doing so i mean i guess you know because you've watched like a lot of this video by now that feels amazing okay let's put the second one on second apostrophe slash comma like tell me they don't look like a comma or like or an apostrophe like either one commas and apostrophes are the same thing right like not the same thing 
but like different purposes, but they are the same shape, right? Because a comma would be like this and an apostrophe would be like this. I'm so brilliant. I was gonna say my New Year's goal is to be like smart, but like I already am like genius. Just kidding. I actually have no New Year's goals and I don't feel like making any. I, okay, I literally have one and that's it, but it's super random and that's to be more flexible. Recently, I've just been getting back into my gymnastics era. I don't wanna like do it competitively again, but I do just like wanna get flexible again so I can just be like, okay, I can't do this like, okay. Ow. Okay, think that was like not painful, thankfully, but I just fell. Anyways, my only goal is to be like more flexible because I just feel like more like in control of my body when I can just be like back bend. Also, it's musical season and like I need to be flexible and dancing. 20 to 30 minutes, I'll see you. <gasps> Wait, no, I can clean my room and do my laundry in that time. I'm a genius and I'm so productive. Why am I out of breath and like doing literally nothing? Okay, let's take this down because this is like really unnecessary. But, like, listen to the difference. Do you hear the, the echo? Oh my gosh, this feels so good in my. Okay, and so my camera almost fell, which like, we're not replacing any more camera equipment. If I stop posting, just assume that my camera equipment broke and I'm not replacing it. Anyways, this feels so good on my eyes and like, I think these are like literally $1.99 or like $2.99 from Target. So I actually didn't get any cleaning done. I was downstairs watching TV, but it has been like 25 minutes, so I'm taking these off. Okay, that was anticlimactic. Okay, 10 out of 10 would recommend those. But also like, did it actually do anything? It just kind of felt good. <sighs> Okay, I'm doing a voiceover for this part because I don't want my parents to think that I'm starting like an OnlyFans in the shower. Also, why is the camera so like foggy? Anyways, here's the hair mask. I'm just like applying it throughout to my hair and just like trying to get it everywhere. Here's the camera fogging up again. What's new? Yeah, just trying to get it everywhere and then I got it all in and now I leave it in for one minute and then I wash it out. Okay, slay. Okay, I'm done in the shower. My hair feels really soft. I'm just gonna let it air dry before I go to bed. But now I need to clean my room, which like it shouldn't take that long because I wash the clothes and everything. So now I just have to pick up all the random extra stuff because before it was just all clothes on the floor, which like, see, I'm just gonna put on my AirPods and then clean and then go to bed because it's like 10 o'clock and I have to wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> Might cry. Okay, I cleaned my room and it's like 10.30 and I need to go to bed. Actually, I don't even know what time it is. My phone is across the room. Let's see how accurate I was. Oh, lovely. My camera fell, but it's 10.22. I also forgot how much I literally love this song. You probably can't even see that, whatever. Yeah, I cleaned my room and I feel a lot better now that I have a cleaner space. Because, like, I put up my luggage and stuff and then... Also, another Lizzo poster, of course, is on my wall. Or, like, there's the actual vinyl. Yeah, this is all clean, clean. And then, oh my gosh, the last thing I need to do is put up this Christmas tree. And, like, if you know, you know. If you watch Vlogmas, that Christmas tree, um... I just never dealt with it. If you're feeling left out and you don't know what I'm talking about, I literally started crying over a Christmas tree. I can't even explain it. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna put that up and then is that the end of this video? I guess so. Can you hear my music still? So that's embarrassing. Anyways, I need to go to bed. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, also give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Just like comment down below. Okay, I will see you next time. I kind of don't know what this video was, but...